The same reference points you use to help maintain straight and level flight will be used to help you establish climbs, descents, and turns. Let's begin with a look at how to perform climbs. As with straight and level flight, the best visual reference for pitch information is the position of the nose relative to the horizon. To start a climb, smoothly apply back elevator pressure to raise the nose. As the pitch attitude increases, you will experience a decrease in airspeed. For this reason, add power as you increase the pitch to establish the climb. When you have set the proper pitch and power, the airspeed will stabilize at the correct climb speed. Any deviation in pitch will cause a change in airspeed. Decreasing the pitch attitude increases the airspeed, while raising the pitch attitude causes a decrease in airspeed. The flight instruments confirm the climb by a nose high position on the attitude indicator, an increasing altimeter, and a positive rate of climb on the vertical speed indicator. Another visual indicator of a climb is the positive angle created by the wingtip and horizon. In a climb, you need right rudder pressure to overcome the aerodynamic forces that tend to make the airplane turn to the left. If you do not maintain enough rudder pressure, the ball in the inclinometer will move to the right. You can correct this by applying right rudder to bring the aircraft back into coordinated flight. To return to straight and level flight, you need to anticipate the level off before you reach the desired altitude. One method is to lead your desired altitude by 10% of your rate of climb. Here, your rate of climb is 500 feet per minute. 10% of 500 is 50. Based on that rate of climb, you should begin your level off 50 feet before you reach your desired altitude. 